internationals in just a moment. One of auto racing's most exotic cars, Frank's on Manufacturer's Midway. Earlier we gave you a look at the top fuel dragster. Let's take a look now at the machine they call the funny car. Funny car is basically a redesigned fuel dragster with a fiberglass body. The body designs are replicas of many popular American compact cars, but these are built specifically for racing. This one, for instance, is a replica of a Trans Am Pontiac Firebird. Big difference from their street cousins, though. They only weigh about 1,700 pounds. They put out around 2,000 horsepower, about the same as a top fueler. The interiors are roll bars and aluminum sheet metal as a single cockpit for the driver. There are no doors. The driver gets in and the body is then set down over him. Speeds about 240 miles an hour in just about six seconds. And for obvious reasons, the racers and the fans call them floppers. Okay, that's what the machine looks like. Let's take a look at some of the top drivers in the funny car category. I'm Raymond Beadle from Dallas, Texas. Raymond Beadle, he drives the legendary Blue Max car. Beadle is a former national champion. He is married. His fellow racers say he has a fine sense of humor. My name is Gordy Bonham. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Gordy Bonham drives the bubble up car. Coming down from Canada, he spends many days on the road traveling the championship circuit. He is married, the father of an 11 year old boy. He has never won a national event. Hi, I'm Don Perdone. I'm from Granada Hills, California. They call him the snake because of his lightning fast reflexes. He is the winningest driver in all of drag racing. When he's not racing, he likes to relax riding motorcycles. He is married, he has one child. Well, you now know what a funny car looks like. You now have seen some of the drivers. Let's go back up to Dave and catch some funny car racing action. Dave? Right, Frank, picking up the action in Funny Car Eliminator in round number two. A total of 16 cars started eliminations here at the 77 Gator Nationals. Eight cars remaining. It's Tom McEwen driving the Corvette against Roger Lindemood. And for your trivia buffs, Roger Lindemood was the 1964 top stock eliminator at the U.S. Nationals. McEwen against Linda Mood, funny car eliminator. Tom McEwen's car breaking something. Roger Linda Mood streaking to an easy victory. 6.51 seconds, 217 miles an hour. In a battle of the services, the U.S. Army Plymouth Arrow of Don Prudhomme from Granada Hills. His competitor, Bob Pickett, driving Mickey Thompson's car. This is the U.S. Marine entry. Pickett's car, a replica of a 77 Starfire. Mickey Thompson, another of the famed names of drag racing. Defending champion Don Prudhomme has an easy go of it. His time, a 6.34 second, 228 mile an hour charge, as Bob Pickett coasts through at only 69 miles an hour, going up in smoke, the tires losing traction from the start. Let's look at it on slow motion as you can see the fine driving job by Pickett. Prudhomme pulling away quickly to the lead. Pickett's car smoking the tires, starting to go sideways. He corrects it and Prudhomme heads to the win. Our electronic computerized timing system flashing the times just as quickly as the car clears the timing traps at the end of the quarter mile. Here's Al Bergler out of Detroit, Michigan, the Motown Shaker. Bergler pulling up into the burnout area. Water puddles allowing the tires to break loose easily and the 2,000 plus horsepower spinning them, smoking the tires. And you see the parts flying and oil coming out from underneath Al Bergler's car. Apparently, something going wrong with the motor. Ray Beetle in the Blue Max pulling into the burnout area. And the official saying, shut it off, as Al Bergler dead on the racetrack. The car, lots of mechanical problems. You can see crew members out kicking off the parts and pieces that came bouncing out from behind it. Here comes Al Bergler's crew now. They'll be lifting up the body. Al will be getting out of the car. There was no fire. These cars carry an onboard fire extinguishing system. NHRA safety safari truck pulling out onto the track to begin the cleanup preparation. Let's go down to Frank. Dave, apparently Birchler threw a rod and that threw a lot of oil on the track and that brought the safety safari out again to dry this track off. You can hear the thrush machine coming behind me. They'll try and dry it off and get back to racing as soon as they can. 
I'm holding the pieces in my hand from Bergler's car, evidence of the problem. Back to you, Dave. Thank you, Frank, and a tough break for Al Bergler as that $12,000 aluminum power plant suffering severe damage. The crowd blocking onto Manufacturers Midway during this downtime as Ray Beetle gets set to go now on a single run with the Blue Max. Every car must make the same number of runs in elimination, so Ray Beetle goes through the timing traps, 6.28 seconds, his speed, 228 miles an hour. The last pair of this second round of funny car eliminations. In the near lane, Gordy Bonin, hailing from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, traveling quite a distance to get to Gainesville, Florida. Gary Bergen from California, the Orange Baron, a former national champion, his car, a 77 Monza. Both cars inching into the staging beams, getting set for that green light, which means go. And a great handling job by Gary Bergen as Gordy Bottom records the low elapsed time of the meet for funny cars. In slow motion, you'll see Gary Bergen with his hands full as that car starting to drift over the racetrack. But Gordy Bonin powers his way through to a 6.19 second elapsed time. His speed, 236 miles an hour. Let's go back down to Manufacturers Midway and once again, Frank Fiorino.